Out with the old, in with the new. 2010's decade certainly did not disappoint when it came to memorable events. So many, so many seismic shifts happened in these last 10 years in part due to the maturation of the internet and technology and their subsequent consequences or rewards as a result. I'll try to not make this long because I've been doing other projects relating to the transition into this new decade. It's been stressing me out big time and it didn't help that the day after Christmas I caught a sinus infection so you could hear a little bit of that in my voice um, today uh, and I just simply want to devote ample time to completing uh, those uh, projects as well. But there are some things that I want to say um, as part of this video and as well as a big announcement at the end. First, I'd like to say that 2019 was a rebound year for me. Two years ago, I was in a period of depression, anxiety, and uncertainty having to face the world post-college. But once things settled down, I began to evaluate myself looked myself in the mirror and thought hard about the future in the long term. And once I started thinking this way, things started clicking nicely. My passion for music and my financial outlook on life have never been so high before. So much so that one of my bold predictions for this decade is that I will finally be able to move out of my parents' house and own my own apartment and maybe find love once and for all. Never know. Um, Mark Joe Music, uh, the music channel that was born from Game Boy TV, is seeing a breath of fresh air, a renaissance. Um, it was in 2019 that I finally settled on a name, a logo, and an identity for my music. It's great to finally be active on both channels on Game Boy TV, uh, but especially Mark Joe Music, and being able to make uh, music covers now more that now that I'm a little bit more organized, and that is a perfect segue into one of the projects devoted to 2020 and the basis for this year's New Year's resolution for you folks at home. Back on December 30th, I recorded a song with two friends that deal solely on celebrating New Year's. It's called A New Year's Toast. It's not your standard pop song that you would hear on the radio. And if I can describe it in simplest terms, it's a spoken word ballad that actually that is actually two songs in one. And I'll put the link in the description below so that you can check it out. It is a long song and it clocks in in just under eight minutes and hopefully you will have the patience to get through the whole song. Anyway, there are three main spoken word narratives in the song that replace where you would have regular verses. Um, two of those narratives deal with the not-so-fun but still thought-provoking moments in the 2010's history. And at the end of each of those narratives, I ended with the question, what purpose would our lives be if it was every man and woman for themselves? Folks, I can only see the instability within our society getting worse and worse when both young and old people are at odds with each other. It happens when people don't have a general consensus of what is morally right or wrong, like the way that they were raised up. Or maybe they forget what is morally right or wrong. A perfect example would be choosing to stand and watch a defenseless person continually getting beaten up. And not only that, seeing that same person filming it as if it's their ticket to 15 minutes of fame at the expense of that person getting hurt. It's one thing to run away scared. Right? I don't blame anyone for running away uh, from a hostile situation. Safety first. But it's another story if one just stands there knowing that they could have done something but choose not to. Our youth, our young people, kids and teenagers, 
They're like sponges. They don't come into this world with instructions pre-programmed into their brains as to how life works. So if parents today aren't raising their children with high moral standards and teaching these life lessons at home, think about what will happen when they absorb the potentially toxic material that is unregulated over the various social media platforms. School becomes tough as well because that becomes a hotbed for a lot of trouble. They will grow up in a world where their faces are buried 24-7 on their devices, getting envious of those people who put their best faces and poses on Instagram and getting and having them get their self-esteem and confidence damage all out of jealousy. You know, a lack of high moral standards is the reason why things like OK Boomer existed in the first place. And I understand that just because someone has life, has more life experience, doesn't equal the same level of maturity. Heck, I'm 25 years old, but there are times when I feel like I'm still 17, all right? But that still doesn't mean that it's okay to throw phrases like that, even if there's legitimate reasons for wanting to name call like that. But it also shows the closed mindedness and ignorance by shutting the door on advice that ends up being the difference between living a meaningful, successful life, raising a family and all, or living paycheck to paycheck, or worse, living on the streets because no company, no job would want to hire someone like you. So when it's millennials, right, I'm people my age, right, I'm, I'm, I'm calling out my own generation right here. Right? We're going to be the next wave of newlyweds and young parents. And if they're living life with such low standards, then you can be certain that this next generation will uphold these low standards as well. What I'm saying is easier said than done, and it's easy for me to sit here and make a speech about this. I got all of that. But if no one is going to step up and speak up about issues like this, who will? Growing up, I was a socially awkward boy who didn't have a lot of friends, who either wasn't aware or followed pop culture trends. Apart from YouTube, I don't have a profile on any other social media site, which is probably why friendships that I thought would stick often fizzle out quickly and why no girl would want to go out with me, but that's going to be another video for another day. All right. Um, but even in those times, I still carried with me the many lessons that my parents, the actual friends that I was able to make in my young 25 years of life so far, and the wonderful teachers who have, I've had the privilege of being a student of taught me how to, how to respect people, respect other people's opinions, giving criticism in a way that doesn't make, that doesn't make anyone look bad, even including yourself taking criticism maturely, respectfully disagreeing, and above all, being service to others. Now, of course, you have to be careful with who you're dealing with, right? There are, there are a lot of people in this world who exploit your generosity, but that's where I would echo the message of having the strong sense of right judgment, okay? The, the, the sense of what is right and what's wrong, and knowing when it's time to walk away and move away and extricate yourself from a situation uh, so that nothing escalates or gets worse. So as we hit the ground running in 2020, realize this, folks. There are leaders and there are followers. We are all followers in the beginning. But who wants to be the leader? Who wants it the most? If you aspire to want to take on a leadership role but don't know how, well, if you heed much of what I said in this video, you're one step closer. It's a new decade, a fresh start. If it was everybody for themselves, then life is practically purposeless. And now for the big announcement that I referred to earlier in the video. After nine years of having the Wii Nintendo Game Boy channel branded as Game Boy TV, 
starting on July 15th of this year, Game Boy TV will be referred to as Heptagon TV. I know, doesn't really roll off the tongue well at first. Um, but the Heptagon is part of the main logo for Mark Joe Music. So if you go out, if you go and check out my channel, you will see the Heptagon icon. Um, and if you don't know what a heptagon is, it's basically a seven-sided polygon. I thought hard and long about this, um, about changing the name, but I think it is necessary. The last thing I want is to have Nintendo knocking on my door with a copyright notice because of the word Game Boy. Although it has never happened yet, and probably it, it, it most likely it won't, I wouldn't want to take that chance. And plus, I've been doing more than just gaming videos on this channel, so it makes more sense to have a generic title, and I also think that it will serve both of my channels very well. And it's ironic that the current Game Boy TV logo shows the castle that Mario goes into after he slides down the flagpole, um, and my intention was to recycle back to my 2012 logo and go through the whole cycle of Game Boy TV logos again. But I think the great thing about re renaming this channel Heptagon TV is that I don't need to create eight or nine different logos anymore. Um, and so that was the big announcement. And it's big for me, and I'm pretty sure for some of my subscribers it'll be a big deal to see the name change, but I'm looking forward to it. So, thank you for once, thank you for watching once again, and I hope each and every one of you had a wonderful holiday season. Happy New Year, and thank you.